Um, hi Naomi, it's uh, Ethan Cox from Rabble.ca. Um, I just, uh, Gabriel Nadeau Dubois from Quebec uh, gave an extremely good speech, strong speech last night, in which he, he was very explicit in identifying capitalism as the enemy and, and made a quote along the lines of, uh, you know, we, we either get liberty or we die, and, and in which he meant liberty from capitalism. So would you be as explicit in saying that, that our only hope is to take down the capitalist system, to really, really not reform it, not mitigate it, but, but to take it down? <laughs> Not to put you on the spot or anything. Liberté ou la mort is the Haitian uh, Declaration of Independence, freedom or death. <laughs> yeah. Also, some parallels that's to the American Revolution. I mean, yeah. I mean, he cited that's what he said, and it was that was the Constitution mm -hmm. was based. You know, so is it like an overthrow of type slavery? I don't know. Well, look, I mean, I think that this economic model. I mean, the reason why why this movement is necessary is because this is an economic model that is fundamentally at war with life on Earth. Um, and you know, this sounds like a very dramatic thing to say, but our planet's life support systems are in crisis. We are approaching multiple tipping points. Um, so you know, that might not be the precise rhetoric that I use, but I, I, I do believe that it is that we are fighting for life. Absolutely, that's at the core of, that's at the core of it. Um, and and, and that it isn't about like a single corporation here or there, that it is about a system. Um, and it, it, it's a, a system that dies if it doesn't continue to grow. Um, and that, doesn't, that, that isn't fundamentally able uh, to do anything but what it is doing right now. And you know, Bill McKibben and I are launching a campaign on the day after the US election called Do the Math. Um, and it's calling for divestment from fossil fuel companies on, on the grounds that uh, it's them or us. <laughs> and it really is them or us, because if you look at, uh, well, if you read the piece that Bill wrote for, for Rolling Stone, which you know, is a summary of a lot of, of some really great new research out there uh, about uh, the amount of oil and coal that the fossil fuel industry has in reserve right now, um, we know how much it is, and we need to them to keep 80% of that in the ground if we are to have a, a, a hope in hell of staying below two degrees, which, by the way, is way too much, right? Um, so we've done the math, you know, <laughs> we've crunched the numbers, and it's not, you know, that we hate you, exactly, I mean, some of us may, um, uh, but it's actually that we care, we care too much uh, um, about our futures, about our children's futures, uh, to, to let them continue with the suicidal model. Uh, and it is, it is a suicidal model. I mean, oil companies, in, in some ways, they are a great microcosm for the, this capitalist logic of grow or die. Their stock price depends um, on having as much in reserve as they have in production. So they have to constantly be growing. They can never stop. Um, and so if you add up everything that they have in reserve, what you see is that it's five times more than the, than the planet can handle, mm -hmm. um, and you know that's capitalism. I say miniature, but they're some of the largest corporations in the, on the planet. It's not so miniature, um, but it, but it is. Uh, I think it's a good way of understanding what, what it is that we're up against, and and so I'm really excited about this campaign. It's 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 modeled on the divestment on the divestment campaign against apartheid, um, and. We are going to uh, many, many university campuses starting starting on November, I think the bill starting November 8th uh, or November 7th. And, and, and the demand is, is for students to say to their campus administrators who are administering their endowments, their university endowments that are all heavily invested in fossil fuels, you tell me, you do the math, um, and tell me how it is um, that you can prepare me for a future that you don't believe in. Um, and I think it's going to start a, a really powerful debate. Uh, and we're going to go after the pension funds and eventually the foundations. <laughs> and it will be really interesting. Thank you. That was a great answer. All right, but one last question.